the biggest thing for us when we built that and started um, putting that together month over month was just showing that the original affordability standards from a landlord and they're looking at tenants if they're doing their own screening was usually a three to one scale, right? Of like income to uh, rent amount. And right now, you know, what we're looking at is in some markets, 35 plus for the most part. And in the major markets, you know, you're looking at 45% plus. So just a new norm in, in terms of what is affordable anymore and what that tenant looks like is a big one. Uh, is that, because um, I think- every, Is that after tax income? Or um, It would be, yes. So, and, all, and it would be like the median income. So technically, yeah. uh, yes, some cities are different. But in terms of like average median or sorry, median income per major city, that's essentially what you're looking at. Um, and I think that's the biggest one because the what they're looking in terms of scrutiny of tenants and what you're looking for from an income standpoint, which doesn't define a quality tenant, but it is a, a portion of that um, is essentially different, you know, especially now moving into 2023 with rent going up. Uh, that's one aspect of, you know, um, an investor or landlord that they're looking at a tenant side that needs to take that into consideration when they're evaluating the criteria of a, of a quality tenant. Yeah, I actually had a note here to talk about this. As I was reading your report and it's it didn't strike me, but I, I, I mean, I, you don't have to be a genius to realize that people have to use more of their income to afford yep. a place right now. But the fact that it's gone from like 30 to 45 percent, I mean, that's a gigantic increase when it comes to, you know, one line item on your on your monthly budget. Right. But what, what's even Okay. So, okay. So there's, there's that percentage, but there's also like the rents are going like crazy. Right. A and the quality of the spaces is plummeting so all simultaneously. So, so why do you like, say that? Why do you, why do you say the quality? Well, be because my daughter's trying to find a place right now. And if you could see the stuff available in a price range for young kids that have not much income, like if you're looking at fifteen, eighteen hundred dollars a month, and you want to live anywhere near Toronto, like the stuff that you see is disgusting. If you're lucky, even to get your own place, I mean, I'm seeing two thousand bucks a month for like the one, the bedroom in a one plus den where the owner is going to sleep on the couch when you live in their bedroom. And I'm not even kidding. Like, there's multiple single you, females only must apply. But if you look at Facebook Marketplace right now, and you look between fifteen hundred and two thousand bucks, like, go see the goddamn garbage that you have to live in right now. Yeah, yeah it's difficult. I mean, competition is only getting uh, is only increasing, right? As as time's going on. If you look about just rent being increased from 2021 to 2022, you know, just like straight from a, a province standpoint, Saskatchewan was up 43%, Alberta 36, Manitoba 19, Nova Scotia 13, Ontario 9, and Quebec 12 and a half. So like from a rent standpoint, yeah, the, you, essentially rents going up. There there hasn't really been a change in what is the overall, you know, I would say competitions got worse. Um, and, and those markets that are traditionally less affordable, like, you know, Vancouver, Toronto, Victoria, as Hart said, Peterborough is up there, Kelowna, um, Hamilton now is getting there where where I'm from. So um, essentially it's it's getting harder to find a place, rents going up. And yeah, the, the quality I would I would agree. Essentially you're in um, you know, certain brackets when you have a certain set uh budget and now you're having to um kind of compromise right with that and, and find something that works for um, really a you know a rental situation that's probably not ideal for you, as you're saying for your, you know, your I think it's your daughter, right? Yeah. So um and, difficult. Yeah, and Daryl, to your point. You know, about the rents going up, the the reality of rent control is that prices of everything are is going up, right? Everyone is pinching pennies. We're in a recession. Not as many people are moving, and yet demand is still incredibly high because of various factors, which we can jump into. Um, but when places become vacant, the burden of the increased prices that the landlords are paying falls on those new vacancies, right? The new people coming in are going to bear that burden. So even when we look at, you know, a 9% annual increase for Ontario, if you distill that down to newly vacant units, that number would be astronomically higher because, you know, yeah. all everyone who stayed, we could only increase the rent by two and a half percent. So those new vacancies are bearing the brunt of that. And a lot of these investors that we talked about beforehand who are building or renovating units, 
are putting them at the top end of the threshold. No one's really thinking I'm going to build a half decent, you know, $1,800 a month, two bedroom. They're thinking, let me pump everything into that unit so that it only attracts the best of the best. And it's going to be absolutely stellar quartz countertops, marble floors, whatever it ends up being. And no one is really catering to the middle of the market where there's so much mm. demand. And so when you know, agents get involved in, and push bidding wars for places like your daughter is looking for that really creates the system where the middle, you know, the middle housing inventory that we do have in a city like Toronto is being escalated even more than that 9% and even more than whatever the number is for new vacant units. Um, so it's making it incredibly difficult. And I mean, we won't even get into affordable housing, but that segment of the market that that your daughter is probably looking in is the most acutely problematic um, in a city like Toronto. It's endangered. Yeah. 